Hey guys, welcome back. Um, it's been a while since I'm, I've been able to hook up with a redfish. So that's the plan today. We're heading out to the marsh. Me and my boy, Homito Mark. <laughs> We're heading out to the marsh. See if we can get, a, get like at least one redfish. Because last time I tried to fish for redfish, I caught like alligator gar, which um, it's not idea. But uh, that's the plan today. Hopefully I'm able to bring you guys a nice video. Right, guys we're about to launch uh, let me show you what I'm working with today got the good old trusty aluminum John boat oh I got a brand new unit a new Lawrence uh, I had the hook four, but it, had, it was giving me some issues and then uh, I went to ACK off of Bissonnette if you follow me on Instagram you'll see the picture that I took and I picked up a new hook five the guys there hooked me up thank you so much ACK for that I really do appreciate it if you guys ever need a kayak or accessory or anything or service done, um, check them out, guys. Let them know that I sent you. Uh, they've been nothing but very professional to me, helping me out and uh, answering all my questions. Sean, who's the manager there, uh, let him know I sent you guys. Um, yeah, ACK, check them out. All right, so this particular marsh, we found an actual back lake where there's uh, like a, a really small portion of grass flats that we've seen tailing reds. And that's very weird at this particular marsh. So we're gonna hightail it back there. Wow, the waters are really calm. I like this, I like it. I like it a lot. I don't, yeah, we go right, yeah. Do we go right? I think, you sure it's not left? I don't remember. It's been so long we've been here, right? Left, right, yeah. Omito Asians are always right. There's nothing worse than uh, thinking you're in the right direction and you're really not. And you gotta backtrack. <laughs> there we go, another one. Fish on. <laughs> I knew they're down there. This is actually a pretty good size. Oh, it might be my first slot. Oh, nice, a flatty. Nice flatty. Woo! <laughs> All right. Man, I knew there's got to be fish in these outgoing tides in these marshes, man. Yeah, look at that. That's a beautiful flat boy. All right, man. All right, all right. All right. <laughs> all right. Got to get the fish grips. He ain't cooperating. There you go. That's a beautiful flat boy right there. Let's see how big he is. Look at that guys. Keeper size 16 and a quarter. Pinch tail 16. Very nice. Very nice. There we go, fish on. Please let it be another flounder. Let it be another flounder. Yes! <laughs> Yeah, he's keeper. I knew there's gotta be a flounder at that main drain right there. I knew it. Yes, yes. Oh, this guy barely has any camouflage. Oh, he got those nasty teeth and putting my finger all in it. Oh, that's a beautiful flounder. Man, I'm telling you what, man. I wanted some redfish, but hey, I'll take flounder because dinner's gonna be good. All right, dude, let me let me help you out here. There you go. Dude, check this out, guys. Oh, that's crazy. He was like all brown and now he's turning white. Do you know they change colors? No, I didn't 
Dude, that's crazy. I have it on feeling he was all brown. Now he has white spots on him. Dude, that's crazy. You learn something new every day, folks. Never stop learning. All right, let's see how big this guy is. All right, come on, stay still. He is nice, 17 and a, 17 and a quarter. Oh, good job. Dude, got some freaking, he got some, he got some low, no limit shoulders on this. <laughs> it's like I said uh, earlier in my intro, I was trying to get redfish, but it didn't work out as planned. Sometimes that's just fishing for you. But I was able to hook up with two nice sized flounders, which will let me do a catch and cook for you guys since a lot, I've been getting a lot of responses, positive responses for the uh, Asian recipes and fish. So yeah, man, I'm ecstatic. I am done fishing for today. Calling it quits a little bit early. Uh, didn't hit the redfish that we thought we were gonna hit, but that's okay. I ended up catching a couple of nice little flounders, which i um, debating on what I should do with them. Maybe I'll release them back in my lake or something. All right guys, made it home finally. I think I'm gonna do a catch and cook. You know, I'm not really sure exactly what I'm going to do with the fish, but uh, first things first, I actually need to cut them up so I'm able to prepare them. So I'm going to go ahead and gut them uh, before I put them on the stove and decide what I want to do. But check it out, guys. These are some fat, fat boys right here. Well, I guess you can't really see them in the ice. Here they are. A couple of flat boys for you. If you guys ever fish the marsh, fish those drains, especially you newbies. Work them as slowly as possible. Let the bait hit the ground, and that's how I hit. I caught these beautiful flat boys here. Hey man, are you okay? Hey, hey, you need CPR? Hey man, hey, hey, hey. Kids, don't try this at home. Now that we got the uh, cleaning and the scaling done, I guess I'm going to go ahead and fillet them. But I still really don't know what I'm going to do with them. But I'm going to do something because we're going to eat them. I didn't bring these bad boys home for nothing. I think this is probably my best fillets ever. I've concluded that the best way to eat flounder in my culture, which I am Korean American, is to eat the flounder raw. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to cut it up in pieces and eat it raw. Usually after you eat flounder, you get the leftover bones and you throw it into a pot with a bunch of vegetables and make it spicy. Here we go. These are the necessary items, ingredients needed to make this stew. Uh, we have your bones of the flounder that I just filleted. We have the green onions. We have the Korean radish whole mushrooms, white onions, squash, tofu, soybean sprouts, drop wort, um, and string mushrooms. And you can purchase all these vegetable items at your local Asian market. Here's the other part of the ingredients that you need to pull this off. You need your crushed garlic, your pepper flakes, and your spicy paste, which we call gochujang. Pot of water, you wanna fill it about a little past halfway, and I have it already starting to heat up. And now we'll add, we'll start adding stuff once it gets a little bit hot. I chopped up all the vegetables for the sake of time. Dropworth has a lot of nutritional value. Um, it has riboflavin, vitamin E, beta carotene, um, antioxidant prop properties that uh, actually are very, very uh, good for your health. And this is one of the main reasons I include this in the soup. Tofu is one of those healthy foods. It's high in protein. It's great in um, helping reduce bad cholesterol levels, which we call LDL in the medical field. Uh, so you guys that might be suffering from hyperlipidemia, which is high cholesterol, this is a great meat substitute. Let's go ahead and start. Uh, first thing first is we want to throw in 
your bones into the water, which I got my bones here. Next, we want to throw in the garlic and the, um, the crushed pepper. Now, we want to throw in your Korean paste, the gochujang. And after we throw it in, we're going to let it boil for about a good 15 to 20 minutes. We got the water to boil. It looks really, really good. If you need to, go ahead and add a little bit of salt. Uh, make sure you taste the broth I already did. Alright guys, I added all the heavy vegetables in. And we're just going to let it sit for about a good 15 more minutes. Does that not look good? Oh my god, that looks so good. The cooking is done. I got the stew. Um, I have the raw sashimi and I have the hot sauce so we're gonna enjoy our fruits of labor um, man I don't know what to say it's uh, <laughs> honestly this is actually the first time I made this soup and it looks pretty good I think uh, it came out pretty good um, so let's just dig in let's try it out obviously we're gonna try the entree with the red sauce mm. Guys, if you have not tried raw flounder, you're missing out, man. You're missing out, for real. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's dig into the soup. Woo, that's really, woo, that's kicking. Man, that's really good. Oh my God, I'm, I can't believe this came out all right. <laughs> that's pretty good, man. I'm really surprised. So as you can see right here, folks, here's part of the bone with some of the meat on it. Like I said, the bone and the meat is going to help bring out the flavor of the soup. Um, you got the vegetables, you got the Korean radish, the string mushrooms. Man, it's really good. Really, really good. This is an excellent, healthy meal that you guys need to try with flounder. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you like it, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I will catch you guys on the next one.